Uh, Minister, you'll have an opportunity to uh, make some opening remarks, and then uh, we'll get into uh, the members' questions. And how much time do I have for opening remarks, Mr. Chair? <laughs> uh, look, I, I'll try to keep it tight to just uh, a few minutes then. Um, look, uh, uh, merci tout le monde uh, pour être ici. Uh. So thank you very much for inviting me here today. I'm pleased to talk about the challenges and opportunities regarding housing in Canada. ...opportunity to, uh, to be part of today uh, about how we're going to build more homes. Um, we are uh, living through a housing crisis in Canada, and if we're going to get out of it, we need to build more homes and we need to build them uh, by the millions. Uh, when I look at the challenges that people are facing, it's impacting them in a very real and serious way. Uh, when I talk to students, they have a challenging time finding places that they can afford, uh, and if they can find a place, it's often uh, a lengthy commute away from their class or in an overcrowded situation. Uh, when I talk to young people who are thinking about their uh, opportunities to start their career, they're worried about their opportunity to find a place to live in the city that may create that opportunity uh, or to uh, potentially buy a place where they can raise their family at some point in time. I talk to seniors who uh, want to age in place in the same community where their grandkids are being raised, which I don't think is too much to ask, uh, but find themselves without an option to downsize into a place that they can actually afford. And I think constantly about the impact on communities that miss out on the opportunity for people to contribute to their dynamism, to their economy, by contributing their talents, uh, should they be able to find a place they can afford. Um, the ch place that we are today is uh, a result of uh, a confluence of different factors. Uh, some of them have been decades in the making. Some of them have arrived more recently. Uh, I think about decisions taken by different governments of different uh, political affiliation over the course of 30 years uh, to not invest in affordable housing. Uh, I think about uh, more recently uh, the pattern that we've seen when interest rates were extremely low during the pandemic, where people bought up properties and are suddenly facing a higher interest rate environment that's not just putting pressure on the people who bought those homes. Homes, uh, but has crowded out others out of the market. Um, despite the enormity of the challenges that we're facing, uh, I do believe that we can solve uh, this challenge. Uh, we as a society, the federal government can't do it on its own, but we need to play a leadership role. Uh, the way that I think we can do that is putting measures in place that are going to help build more homes, that are going to support Canadians in need, and make it easier to, to rent or buy a home. Uh, when it comes to building more homes, we need to make the math work for builders. Uh, we have seen an increase in the cost of material, labour, supplies, land, and of course interest in recent years that have caused a lot of projects that were marginal before uh, to not be possible to move forward with because the economic case has fallen apart. Uh, we have obviously removed the GST from new apartments, we've put low-cost financing on the table, Table, uh, through the apartment construction loan program. We've recapitalized the Canada Mortgage Bond program to put more cheap money on the market. Uh, but it's not enough for us just to address the cost of building. We also have to address some of the systemic challenges around how communities actually allow homes to get built. Uh, we need to squeeze more productivity when it comes to housing policy uh, out of the infrastructure investments that we are making. Uh, we obviously have been rolling out deals with, uh, I believe, 36 now communities across uh, the country through the Housing Accelerator Fund to put federal money on the table, not necessarily to directly construct the homes, uh, but to change the rules on how homes are built that will have a positive impact in perpetuity around zoning practices and permitting processes in particular. Uh, we also need to adopt an industrial strategy around home building with a focus on training opportunities for Canadian workers, immigration streams that bring talent to Canada where it doesn't exist today, and we need to incentivize uh, innovation in home building, particularly to get more homes built in factories across the country. Uh, when we put together this plan that will help build more homes, we can't ignore the fact that there are vulnerable people who need particular kinds of homes to be built. Uh, this is where investments in affordable housing come into play. The Affordable Housing Fund, which was re recently recapitalized with an additional billion dollars in the fall economic statement is designed to help with the capital cost of putting up those kinds of homes for people who have I intense need. Uh, in addition, we've uh, rolled out programs to support uh, communities that are dealing with homelessness challenges, uh, and despite the fact that we have made serious investments, I'll be the first to acknowledge uh, we have a long way to go given the extraordinary nature of the challenges that communities are dealing with today. Uh, in addition, we've got other programs that have supported people directly, for example, the Canada Housing Benefit. Um, but we can't ignore the fact that 
that uh, there are people who come from different demographic communities that are disproportionately impacted. I think in particular of Indigenous peoples across Canada uh, that will benefit from upcoming federal investments in housing that have uh, for too long been ignored and not benefited from the same level of investment that other Canadians uh, benefit from when it comes to housing policy. Uh, finally, we need to make sure that uh, young Canadians in particular uh, have a place that they can uh, rent or buy. Uh, we've created the First Home Savings Account, which uh, I'm pleased to share has now seen more than half a million uh, young Canadians sign up for a tax-free savings account to, uh, towards the down payment of their first home. Uh, there's a suite of other measures that we are uh, looking at or have implemented to help reduce pressure on rental markets, but given the fact that I'm pretty sure I am at exhausting my five minutes, uh, Mr. Chair, I'll cut my opening remarks off there and gladly take what questions committee members may have. Yeah. Thanks, Minister. Right on time. And